Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be looking at how to add images like these to your video in Descript. Before I go and show you how to actually add the images, it might help to see how the layering works in the, in the canvas here. I already have added these images, but you can see that images can be layered. So I first added this background image, and then on top is this video here. Try to keep that in mind when you're adding. You probably want to add something that goes in the background to the most slides first, and then add video to smaller section. These images in the timeline here are the layers of when they appear in the video. If you click on the image, you'll see that it corresponds to this bar in the timeline, and then it is also highlighted in the transcript there. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll start from the beginning. So you can see how I made this quick little example video. Okay. So now it's blank. I have my, my audio already set up with my slides. And so the first thing we want to do is hit media. And then you can add either your own files, your own image files, videos. So you can search from a number of stock videos that Descript has. There's GIFs. And we've got images and other stock images again from Descript. There's even, they just added this text to image creator which is pretty cool so that's another option and then oh yeah and i forgot to mention that if you already have a folder open so let's say you have a folder open and you want to just drag and drop it into the descript application you can first want to add in the background because it's going to be on all my slides and just hanging out in the back we'll highlight all the slides you can hit Command A on a Mac like mine, or Control A to select all. And then we'll go to, I'm just going to click on like a background image. I think when I searched for it, it was like a pink background, even though it's not really pink. And we went with this. Might take a minute to load. And then you can just make sure it's highlighted in blue and you can adjust the size. You can also change the angle of it too, but don't want to do that. Just need a little background. We'll I get to the to size here. And so it's going to be the bottom layer of our video on the canvas here. If you have it selected, there's a menu of different things you can adjust in this menu bar here. Okay. So for this first slide, I want to add that video. So again, I'll highlight this slide and we'll go to media, videos, and I'll search for cooking video. And we did this one here. And it takes just a minute to load. Okay. Go ahead and add the non video. I don't even know if they're really bonbons, but add that in. Media, videos, and this is what cut came up when I typed in bonbons. So we went with it. It changed. Okay. We'll just go with this. Okay. And then lastly, let's say I just want, I have this slide, but I just want the image to appear on the word chocolate. I'll highlight just that word and we'll go ahead and hit media again and images go to chocolate oops if i could spell that would be helpful okay. go with that image and so in this in this example i'll show you let's say you decided you wanted the image to appear for the whole word high quality chocolate instead of just chocolate you can adjust in the timeline so again i have it selected and it's highlighted in blue here, but I can go ahead, you can either drag or I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the timeline by moving this bar over and starting it at the word high. And then the image will appear for this entire duration. You can also see that it's highlighted in blue on the transcript. So that about covers it. We'll run through the whole example again so you can get an idea. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.